Hey everybody, Ezer here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get all of the cultural insights for the game Never Alone. Now, there's going to be 24 of these total. Some of these you get automatically, some of these you get to find in the shape of owls throughout the game. Um, most of them aren't too bad. There's a couple that are missable, so I'll kind of point those out. First things first, you do get two right off the bat just for starting the game regardless. Uh, and once you actually start the game and watch the end of the cutscene, you'll end up unlocking the third one called Scrimshaw. One thing I'm going to mention about this video is that uh, I will have timestamps in the bottom for the different chapters, starting with chapter 1 and going on from there, so just kind of watch out for that. For the most part, I try to get at least a little bit before and after the owls, so that way you have a pretty good idea when it's going to be coming in the game versus just kind of throwing it on you, but... Number 4 is going to be pretty much directly in the path. You kind of can't miss it. It kind of shows you how to collect them. Uh, in my eyes, it's kind of a tutorial. Once you learn about basically... Bracing against the wind, you will find the next one. If you keep going through this chapter, you will end up finding uh, a spot where you have to jump across three of the spirit beasts. Once you jump across all three, you will find an owl, so go ahead and grab that one. Number seven will also be in this chapter, and that's going to be a little bit down the way where you're going to end up uh, having to jump up a pathway with the fox once you go underneath the little cliffside. At the very top will be the seventh one, that'll be the last one for this chapter, which that will nab you the Tundra Expert achievement as well. Now this is going to be the next chapter, and once you actually meet up with the Owl Man here, you will get one along the way. It's kind of hard to miss, so just make sure to grab it. This next one, number 9, is actually going to be one of the missable ones. You'll go keep going a little bit, you will end up finding what are called little people. Uh, when you do it, you have to jump to the right and then jump back across to the left. If you miss the jump, all you have to do is just restart the, from checkpoint. Just do it real quick, otherwise you will end up hitting the checkpoint down below. But, uh, like I said, overall you'll know if you miss it or not. I find that jumping all the way across, running across, and getting a head start with the slide generally helps a little bit more than uh, just jumping down like I did the first time there. So and Once you get done with that one, uh, when you get back to the Owl Man, he'll give you the bolus, and once you're done with that, he will. there will be another owl just right along the path along the way. So again, kind of hard to miss this one again. <laughs> Now that's going to be the last one for this chapter, so that you will get the Village Historian achievement with that as well. Now on to the next chapter is going to be one right off the bat you'll get no matter what, it's called Stranded. After you get it, you'll keep going. Eventually, we'll end up getting chased by the polar bear for a little bit. Uh, as you see here, it ends up in the water. Once that happens, you'll just have to watch out. There's going to be another owl along the way here, so make sure to grab that. Don't miss it. Alright, number 13 here is going to be when the ice starts going up and down trying to crush you. Uh, there will be a spot here where you can actually jump up the wall with the fox. And as you see at the very top there, it's going to be uh, an owl that you'll get for the 13th one. So that'll be the last one for this particular chapter, which will give you the achievement, The Cold Truth. On to the next chapter. When you get in there, you'll, teach, you'll learn how to swim. If you just go to the left right away, you will find the first owl in this chapter. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Once you get done with that, uh, you'll have to keep platforming your way up to the very top level. You will end up, I think, releasing one water flow before this. This is going to be on your way to the second water flow. When you get to the very top, you'll see that you have to swing up in order to get it. Um, then you have to break some icicles. I grabbed it right before the icicles fell, but it'll be around after the icicles as well, so don't worry about grabbing it right away like I did here. So. The next one is technically missable since you can just get to the very top and uh, jump up there. I don't know if you can actually get it with the fox uh, beforehand. If you jump the far enough to the right, it was at the top platform there as you saw. But I missed it with the fox, so I'm gonna have to go. I had to go back around with the little girl as well, which made it a lot longer than it actually needed to be. So just make sure to grab it before you break the icicles, or else the chapter will end and you'll you'll end up missing this one. So. Now once you get out of there and you start the next chapter, you'll find the first owl right off the bat, which is going to be pretty hard to miss. And then as you keep going, there will become a little platform here where you have to uh, drag the uh, crate, I guess, in order to make a little platform for the fox down below. This is actually going to be right past this section. I just kind of show you how to do this so that way you'd know to watch it. Now once that one's done, you're going to end up coming to another spot where the uh, northern spirits are running around. You have to end up uh, jumping across two separate ropes, and you have to actually climb the second one, and then you have to continue to the right. If you don't continue right, though, and if you go to the left, you will see another rope along with an owl in order to grab it, so make sure to do that. If you end up going right, you'll end up having to replay this one as well, since you'll have missed the owl. Now this is at the start of the next chapter. It's kind of hard to miss. It's going to be in the very first branch here, so just make sure to watch for that one. Now this next one's very missable, so make sure to uh, watch out for this one. When you kind of jump across uh, two separate birds here, you'll end up coming and you'll see a little uh, platform. And then if you fall down there, you'll continue on with the story, but you actually need to go to the left. If you hit the left spot with your body, I did it with my body, but you can actually, I think, also hit it with the bolas. Um, you'll end up making it move, and then you'll be able to get the owl. Make sure to get this one, because if you don't jump uh, across and you jump down, you'll end up uh, triggering the next checkpoint and you'll have to do the whole thing over again. All right, this is going to be after you beat the Manslayer boss. Once you get all done, set and done with it, there's going to be an owl directly after him. It's kind of hard to miss, so just make sure that you end up grabbing that one along the way. Now, the very last grabbable owl that isn't given to you is going to be when you get to the uh, source of the blizzard. If you, instead of going up like you're supposed to go, if you just keep going to the right, you'll end up finding an owl all the way at the end. 
And when you do, that's going to be number 23. The last one, the 24, is going to be given to you at the very end of the game, so this is technically the last one you get to collect. So Now, with all that said and done, if you've collected them along the way, you will end up getting all of the achievements uh, tied to collecting all of the insights for each chapter. There's actually quite a few of them, so uh, I didn't name off all of them. Hopefully I found the game kind of fun. Uh, I actually enjoyed it, considering it only took about two hours to go through, so it was... It was actually a better game than I thought it would be. The platforming wasn't overly hard, and it was just it was a fun game. I especially liked the insights. I liked the little stories that were tied to each one of them. So overall, it was a really cool game. Let me know in the comments down below if you thought it was a pretty cool game or if you thought it was kind of meh. That's about all I got, though, so hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you like other video game-related content, consider subscribing. That's kind of what I do, so thank you all for watching. I've been Ezra. Until next time, keep your story going. Yanin in your